Ladies and gentlemen, the Durham Pro Special Counsel is looking at criminal activity of other attorneys within that law firm. If you look at the last paragraph in the latest filing of the Durham Probe, from the Durham Probe Special Counsel, it says, Second, the government is not seeking to usurp a credibility finding from the jury through lay opinion testimony. Indeed, the government does not plan to elicit the opinion of the then managing partner of law firm one, Sussman's law firm, the, the indicted attorney, the third indictment within, within the Durham Probe Special Counsel, as to whether he currently thinks the press statements were false or misleading. Rather, the government will appropriately elicit testimony as to the circumstances in which the statements were created, reviewed, and approved. What information was and was not provided by the defendant and others in drafting these statements, and whether the managing partner knew any of the media statements to be false at the time, based on what he knew from his role in managing the firm. Because such testimony flows directly from the witness's knowledge of relevant facts, none of it encroaches on the jury's role as the finder of facts on ultimate issues in the case. So, they're either going to, this is really interesting because they're looking into whether they have witnesses from his law firm or whether they're looking at indicting other attorneys. And I think that there's an, uh, one person who specifically purchased the Steele dossier on behalf of the Clinton campaign and the DNC that the Durham Probe Special Counsel is almost certainly looking at. But he wants to know, John Durham, if the information that Sussman and others obtained, whether it was the Steele dossier or the Alpha Bank hoax, both of these things were myths created by attorneys and tech researchers that were paid or hired or linked directly to the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee. That's what the Durham Probe Special Counsel has stated within each one of these indictments. And the interesting thing is, you have this law firm that was almost certainly under investigation by the Durham Probe Special Counsel. Either you have, I mean, Michael Sussman, who was an attorney for the law firm, is now indicted could face up to five years in prison. He lied to the FBI about the Alpha Bank story that he basically set up, that, that he created alongside Tech, Re tech Executive One and tech researchers. They, we just found out that the Central Intelligence Agency uh, determined that the information Sussman gave them about Trump was user-created, not plausible. They literally fabricated everything. Now, if you ask anyone on the left or a morally superior, highly educated, very rational and logical liberal Democrat, if you, if you let them know, hey, you know what? They created and fabricated a myth against Trump. They'll tell you that you're believing fantasies because they truly, truly, with all their heart and soul, believe that Trump was installed by another country. They can't fathom that he defeated Clinton and that because he defeated Madam Secretary, you had loyalists within the government, and you had um, attorneys and tech executives and tech researchers who were literally hired. They hired a third-party tech firm to look at DNC servers. Those servers were never given to the United States government. And foreign policy and domestic policy, we had, it, was, it was based for five years, six years, on the fact that Another country wanted you to know that Bernie Sanders was cheated. By the way, hit subscribe to this channel right now. Hit subscribe also to Indict and Imprison 45 channel. It's comedy and satire. And the first segment is today. It was I was going to do it a little, a little earlier in the morning, but um, it, it was uploaded later this evening, and it's up already. So check that out. It's the first segment. And it's a, you know, I'll be reading, like every day, I'll just be reading... A left-leaning publication, Washington Post, New York Times, Slate. A lot of people don't think Washington Post or New York Times is left-leaning, but they definitely are. They're basically an extension of the Democratic Party, and as is Twitter, which is why uh, people are so petrified that Elon Musk uh, will be buying Twitter. But anyway, you have all of these people who truly believe 
that Trump deserves to be indicted and arrested. So subscribe to that channel and and share and watch the latest segment. It's based on a uh, on a Slate article today, trying to um, cope with the fact that Trump hasn't been indicted because guess what? He hasn't committed any crimes. These people committed crimes against Trump. Trump never committed any crimes. The panel, the congressional panel, can't find anything on him except text messages that are meaningless. The only, okay, they can't find him, they can't indict or charge him because he hasn't committed a crime. They have his tax returns, they couldn't find anything. The Mueller probe found nothing. New York investigation about real estate found nothing. New York has the most expensive uh, real estate in the world, okay, along with Tokyo and a couple other cities. So he didn't inflate the, the, his, the, the value of his real estate holdings to, dece- to deceive Deutsche Bank. This is all nonsense. They're just trying to prevent him from running again. It's not going to happen. What, what's, what's taken place, and so that channel is like a comedic, satirical take on the obsession Democrats have with Trump, their inability to realize he didn't commit any crimes. They have his tax returns. They can't find anything. They investigated him pertaining to uh, being installed by Russia, and and that never happened. Nobody was ever indicted for conspiring alongside an intelligence official of that country. If anybody worked with an intelligence official from that country, it was Christopher Steele and Democrats through the Steele dossier. And they were very proud of that. But see, again, the stock market crash channel is also below. Hit subscribe there. Unfortunately, we're going to have a devastating market crash. I've been, I've predicted everything that we're seeing right now in terms of the economy. Um, we're heading into a recession, and I said we would within the article below in the, in, the, in the pinned comment in the Federalist. If you want to support my work, and so read that article, my Patreon is below, and I'll probably start other uh, platforms as well in addition to Patreon if you're not interested in, in supporting my work through Patreon. Ladies and gentlemen, we can get back to this interesting, very interesting um, statement, whether the managing partner of the law firm Sussman worked for knew any of the media statements to be false at the time based on what we knew from his role in, the, in managing the firm. You have a very interesting dynamic here. Um, this law firm has for years gotten away with simply purchasing the Steele dossier, helping funnel lies and deceitful statements to the United States government, and also disseminating information to media. So they've been working to not only create the information, but to promulgate the notion that Trump is the most corrupt person on the planet. That in and of itself is a corrupt act. To lie about your direct political opponent... Get government agencies to investigate your direct political rival. Get Washington Post, New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, social media algorithms to favor one absurd narrative that he is installed by another country. And it's not just Trump. They do the same thing to Tulsi Gabbard. They did it to Bernie Sanders. Anyone, it's just, we learned the futility and the danger with this in high school or in middle school. We learned about the McCarthy area. McCarthy era, Joe McCarthy, Red Scare. We learned about Cold War hysteria. And what Democrats did through the use of this law firm and journalists who were more than willing to suspend logic as they pushed to suspend any account on Twitter or social media for, uh, uh, um, platforms that didn't agree with them, they were more than willing to say, oh my God, you know, these reports come out, and the Steele dossier was published, wasn't against any social media algorithm. Isn't that interesting? But Hunter's emails, well, yeah, they were against the social media algorithm. But Law Firm 1 was paid by Clinton to hire Glenn Simpson, Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, um, to these tech researchers. Well, the tech researchers, that's an interesting setup. So Tech Executive 1, I believe, had a, his own setup with the uh, with Su- Michael Sussman, the attorney. But you already have one indicted attorney in that law firm. And now you're getting the last paragraph here in the latest filing of the Durham Probe Special Counsel. We'll read it again. 
The government does, okay, uh, rather the government will appropriately elicit testimony from law firm one as to the uh, managing partner. Indeed, the government does not plan to listen to the opinion of the then managing partner of law firm one. They, I don't, I, I, this is the thing. They could be referring to Sussman. I don't think they're referring to Sussman. But if they are referring to Sussman, that's just as bad. Rather, the government will, will appropriately elicit testimony as to the circumstances in which statements were created, reviewed, and approved, what information was and was not provided by the defendant and others in drafting these statements, and whether the managing partner knew any of the media statements to be false at the time based on what he knew from his role in managing the firm. Of course, anyone who worked at that law firm knew that their goal was to create a hoax, a myth against Trump. They knew the information to be false. It's even within the messages, text messages, emails, saying we have to appease VIPs. We have to appease uh, and create a narrative. And they were even warning themselves, hey, this won't fly. Um, we have to, we, what was it? We have to find every dirty trick in the book to get this uh, done. That was, pr every dirty trick is the actual quote. And they were talking about dirty tricks. And they were talking about, um, that's in the Sussman indictment. And they were talking about how, you know what, if you know anything about cybersecurity, this isn't going to fly in the face of public scrutiny, but they still spread the nonsense. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Law Firm 1 is within the sights of the Durham Pro Special Counsel. And people say, well, you know what, they're not going to go after the government. Well, this is actually almost as bad for people like James Comey because if you have the law firm... The law firm at the end of the day is going to protect itself and its attorneys or the attorneys that haven't been indicted, indicted thus far. They also know the goods on people like Comey and Strzok and McCabe and Clapper, although Comey has the goods on that law firm. So there you go. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you.